so my little single burner forge which I use for virtually everything is getting a little bit tired you can see the refractory is cracked and chewed up and just generally in bad shape and I definitely notice a performance difference so it's time to reline this forge with the material I picked up in my last roaming video Since I've done this before, I'm not going to go into any great detail, but just give a general overview. I've noticed that when the floor is in bad shape, that especially affects how the forge runs. So it's definitely time to change that hard ceramic. The way I configured the refractory last time I relined didn't protect the front and back of this forge shell. So I've got to do a better job of that, otherwise this is quickly going on its way out. It may be unrecognizable, but this is a Diamondback Ironworks Forge, and I would recommend them every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Now I've relined this several times, but I've used this forge for 12 years, virtually 6 days a week. This fibrous refractory is best cut with a thin kerf razor saw. I changed the front and back pieces in a way that should protect the shell both front and back much better. You can see in this picture that the refractory doesn't extend down enough, but here it does. I also extended the sides of the refractory inward a bit. I need to give Brett Leach and Steve Riley a big shout out for their recent very generous donations. Helping to keep the forge lined and the channel going. Thanks a lot fellas. This hole is crucial but you want to start a little bit small and then slowly expand it as needed. I did have some thin blanket type sheets of refractory on the top and sides, but this go around I'm just going to forego those. Here's the old stuff that I changed out. I fully expect this to not work on the first go, it never has. We'll see. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Usually it needs adjusting before it'll hum along. This type of refractory turns pitch black for a few minutes before going back to white. It's a little bit throaty, and what I mean is it doesn't sound perfectly smooth, but you just want to give it some time. The black is almost gone, and the fire is starting to neutralize. One sign that it's working right is I can't distinguish the flame coming out of the burner tube. I pop in a piece of hammer stock and quickly get it up to heat. I'm going to try and dial it down as far as I can. With the hammer stock in, I had it at about 6 pounds. Now I've dialed it down to about 3 pounds. It is right there. Would be perfect for making tongs. I'll catch you guys next time.